You want the golden circuit? Alright? Okay, you got the cells in your body, right? And where do they get their information from? They get their information from your brain. Where does your brain get its information from? Well, your brain sends out electrical impulses and chemical synapses, or chemical catalysts throughout your body. And your brain gets the information to make those off of an electromagnetic pulse that it receives from your heart, right? Your heart receives its electromagnetic pulse, or the way for it to pulse, from the Earth. The Earth receives the way it should pulse, because these are all globes of vibration but going around, and they pulse at certain notes, right? But the, the whole octave is contained inside of the sun, right? But the sun's octave, all the sun's octave, is go. contained inside of the uh, center of the galaxy, which is contained inside of the center of the universe. That's awesome. The and that's how we're all connected. I like it. I like it. We're, we're all done. one, dude. Good. <laughs> Well, the notion's sublime, but I don't have the time to differentiate between what's yours and mine when our hearts, they beat in time. And it's real, won't ever change with the times. As we're here, having the you have inside of you every single divine principle that exists. Animals express one particular divine principle, which is why then you can use them to discover divine principles in yourself. That's what the whole Egyptians were on. They weren't worshipping animals, they were worshipping the divine principle behind animals. Just like you gotta worship the divine principle behind yourself in order to really connect. Perfect. Peace out, guys. Just to feel okay And it's real Won't ever change with the times Cause we're here Having the time of our lives It could be just two and it's just me and you But instead everybody wants in on the party But I don't even mind So the PA starts up with the beat of a drum And the flex of the bass you can feel in your legs And see in the smile on your face Cause it's real Won't ever change with the times Cause we're here Having the time of our lives So deep down south we go To a constant rodeo Well, I think uh, there's a big concern right now as far as the folk art movement has gone, been or gone is that with all these older folk artists dying, like Jimmy Lee, Mose, that somehow it's going to just go away. But the thing is that it is changing form and it's, it's moving its way down into, of course, younger generations, which are doing a different kind of art. And the big discussion in the future will be, is this folk art, is this just contemporary uh, American art? And I think that it's going to be up to the artists to decide, you know, what category they want to fall into, I suppose. But I think it's going to continue and always will be there because, you know, people have to express themselves. And the great thing about folk art is that each person kind of expresses themselves in a unique way. Mm -hmm. They're not trying to follow any style or yeah. fall into some category really as far as well, I'm contradicting myself because they're, they're considering themselves folk artists. But mm -hmm. I think with these different new folk artists coming along, Anything we've thought about the folk art before is going to be challenged because there's going to be new, different things that are going to be done. Yeah, so um, constantly new and unique enough. Exactly. That it'll stand, yeah. yeah, and I'm sure that as time goes by, there'll be a lot of people that will be coming up saying that none of this new stuff is folk art. 
they will say it's not because it should be by untrained, unsophisticated, uneducated people, mm -hmm. which I don't agree with. I mean, just yeah. because a person can't read and write doesn't mean they can be a folk artist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but they, people like that idea that, like with Jimmy Lee, he was illiterate as well, mm -hmm. that uh, they were totally unspoiled. By that, they didn't have any information. Yeah, untainted. The, yeah, they're untainted. not brought up in the you know usual yeah, academic. It, it, yeah, like they're in their own little tiny world, and it's all, the, all everything they do is very original. Yeah, yeah. So to a point, that's true, but but that's not going to happen anymore. There's too much information out there. There's too many modes of communication, so we're not going to have those isolated populations like we had in the past. Mm -hmm. And that's one thing that I think fascinated me in the beginning. And we were only talking in the 1990s when I would visit these artists. Mm -hmm. I would go into worlds that I thought didn't exist. Yeah. I mean, isolated parts of Alabama that you think are in Africa. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. people, you know, pin off the back porch and, and cooking on the front porch and a little wood stove and getting their water out of a, a well. I mean, I didn't think anybody did that anymore. Yet I, I came across these people as I explored and looked for these folk artists. And uh, that, of course, is disappearing. But at the same time, uh, I was amazed at, at the uh, detachment I had on our own culture that, that there would be these people out there that I didn't know anything about. And I think with the hurricane in um, Louisiana, when people saw what the Ninth Ward was about, the poverty and, and really the... Um, isolation inside that ninth ward uh, I, I think people didn't understand there was that kind of thing still happening in this country mm -hmm. you know that there was the uh, oh you say remains of segregation still here mm -hmm. yeah But I think it's going to continue and always will be there because you know people have to express, express people have to express, express, people have to express themselves. It's going to continue and always will be there.